Okay, well, what's going on, guys? I, I have gone around and around, back and forth, as usual, I guess. Thinking about it, overthinking this thing. But anyway, I'm trying to figure out this trim. I'm trying to get this paint going. It didn't look good with a sharp cut, but this actually doesn't look too bad with a, with this kind of rounded over. So that this is one option. And then I thought about like just kind of a, I call it craftsman style, like just a, this would be bigger, but like a board like this with a chamfer thing here, but it's a return. Um, oh my goodness. <sighs> I've been in a hurry, trying to be in a hurry. And I'll tell you what, don't be in a hurry for almost anything because well, you can learn from it, but it's annoying. And uh, so here's another option, which is a return, a cut return uh, like this. So, and this is not too bad either, but it still just doesn't quite, it's not really doing it for me. I guess it's not, it doesn't, I, anyway, I'm gonna, the next one I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut some pieces and see how it looks as wrapped and then not bad but actually that sanded just the flat sanded one kind of looked all right it didn't look good it didn't look good as a sharp edge like this but it actually you know looks very different with this rounded rounded edge and i kind of it's you know, similar to what the return is i kind of don't mind that um oh my goodness oh Holy shit, this, this shop feels like a, like a tight, like a, you know how it is when you get into it, it's a mess and everything. But yeah, this one, kind of don't mind that one. But I'm gonna cut a couple angles and try that real quick. Tell you what, getting in a hurry is just not, it's not a good idea, you know, woodworking. Apparently, this is why custom furniture is expensive, right? Because it takes a long time and it's a lot of work and stuff like that. So this would be the, uh, of course my piece is super long here, but that would be, and that's actually pretty nice. Uh, so you, okay, what's that look like? <laughs> well. Let me know, if anybody wants to comment, let me know what you would do in this situation. I'll take a look. I'll step way back and look at it. Yeah, it looks okay, but not crazy, not crazy better.
Negotiation. I 
it's quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah I think that we've all had enough What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah What's up guys? Welcome back. How you doing? My name is Luke. Welcome to my channel. It's paint day. This is gonna be this is gonna be a difficult paint job just because I mean look at it. Right? And you really want to cover every surface front and back, you know, to really seal it. So there's a lot more work than I thought for sanding prep and sanding and then this paint job thank you welcome aboard thank you for joining us on this journey of expeditions in art and woodworking and woodworking kind of is like art because you know what you do you adjust things as you go you know, so like woodworking is like not only learning how to cut, you saw, use thing, uh, tools. It's uh, like uh, making adjustments as you go, and it's uh, design decisions. You know, they talk about with painting a lot, like oh, the you making decisions the whole way. Well, it's similar here, and the same with design. You know, you can have a design, you can start with nothing, and and mold it and shape it but you're making decisions I have no idea what I'm even talking about all right it's paint day today is the paint day we got to get all this all these things painted so I better get to work these are not nice and, and it comes down to design and decisions and um, you know along the way you know you're checking you're constantly checking and analyzing which i do all the time more on that later all right let's paint i got nightmares in my head i fear that the thoughts build up until i can't hear that my mind fills up into a creature and it haunts me somewhere much deeper anxiety filling up every space no privacy and silently, it could build and build until you finally see Whoa, it's taking over, damn no closure Moving closer, no exposure I just wanna be a loner uh, Some can't stay sober, looking over all their shoulders Like moving boulders just to get out of the home It sucks, I've had enough I don't wanna feel the stuck Under the rug, all my problems that I shove I got nightmares in my head, I fear Thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy all this stuff I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus Good enough, nothing's really clear Sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy yeah. all this stuff 
it sucks When you finally feel like giving up Oh God, no luck Everything feels like you're sticky stuck I'm lost, handcuffed To the bed where I sleep, don't give a fuck Can't stop, unplug Feeling overwhelmed, I think I've had enough uh, Gotta find a way to get some energy Gotta find someone who's a good friend of me I need purpose to make it all worth it I'm still searching and I'm still learning I want a life that's filled with memories Not a life with a grand in front of me I need focus to keep me from hopeless Psychosis if I keep moping I got nightmares in my head I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I got nightmares in my head I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I've been feeling weird I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear Sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real Anxiety can foggy all this stuff I've been feeling weird I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear Sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real Anxiety can foggy all this stuff well, painting is a little tricky, but <clears throat> maybe not as bad as I thought. I'm about an hour and a half in and I've got the backs and the sides, except for the floor, and two bays and the top. So uh, it's moving, it's moving along, not too bad. Um, I've got a little bit of a process. I'll just show you quickly how I'm... Uh, painting some of this and that sounded like thunder uh, so there's a couple different ways you can do it um, but I'll just show you a couple of little painting tips I'm trying to do like one area at a time but what you end up in you end up running into uh, you know two corners at a time or three so but when you're painting here's little painting tips is uh you know you can um bring it out about an inch and a half um so then i can use the roller on the top but then you want to bring this um you know you want to paint with the you want to paint with the grain everywhere so you can do it um you can put this on and work it in sections. Basically, put the paint on without being too light, too light about it. You know, put it on. So this on the bottom will bring me out where I need to be, and then see. I want to come back and straighten all this because I want. You know, you want to paint with the grain. You always want to paint everywhere with the green so so here again I'll hit the corner and then I'll clean my brush off a little but then just you know bring this down and this is the primer so it's gonna be a little splotchy but on the finish on the finish coat uh, finish coat we should get um, decent coverage so like that's that's an example and, uh, so a couple different ways though you could put but instead of going if you were to paintbrush all this you know you're kind of fighting it by uh, well if you go too light you don't want to go too light with the paint you want to put put a decent amount on and then kind of work it come back and work it around so like this gets you away from the edge but then I didn't do the top, so uh, see how it goes. It just goes dry pretty quick. So you really want to kind of want to use a healthy amount of paint, and then as long as you're cutting in, going with the grain, that's good. So you could go around the whole thing and do it like that, like like the perimeter. So here again, I'm doing the. Uh, with the shelf 
then come back and uh, you know work this up. You wouldn't want to leave lines like that going against the grain. That would look really bad. So, and like I said, with the finished coat, it'll. And then you can fill in. You can fill in those areas. So what I'm doing is rolling. I'm rolling. You know, I'm trying to work it. Definitely work it into the wood. The wood is sucking up the paint. So that applies the paint, and then this is just back brushing, you know, with the grain and trying to be a nice straight line. Or sometimes, like on the pine, you follow. You sometimes you follow the grain of the wood too. Um, it not not totally straight, but sometimes you follow the waves. Uh, but see this gets a nice coat on there and then you do the same thing for the next it's kind of hard to get this um, coverage but that's basically you know what you're doing and and you can put it on see like I said if you were too light with your paint you know you might just be fight just fighting uh, the whole time so you add a tip my tip is put on put on you know get keep a healthy amount on your brush you know so you're putting on material okay and then you're you're moving it around you're manipulating it and then especially like I said with this um, so that gets the top and then the corners and then you're checking for runs or heavy spots too so that's just a quick little painting tip but uh yeah so I could go around and work all these edges and uh and then come back and fill in or vice versa you know it doesn't, doesn't really matter but um also you want to you know kind of whatever areas you touch you could the light spots you know, I worry about them drying and then you put the next coat on. So, you know, you want to keep a, a wet area, like a kind of continue painting in an area. That way it keeps it all similar to working a wet edge. But so, but I'm just applying and then you can go close to the edge. So this roller, it's kind of a lifesaver here. Otherwise you'd be slapping on a lot of heavy, uh, brush marks but sorry if my arms in the way whoops and I, I found a few putty spots I gotta this one. here's one um I have to say that but so now this is applied you know straighten this back brush this and work it work it up that way you got You know, you got your grain this way, you got your grain this way, and then you don't want heavy spots or run. So it's all about smoothing it out. And, and I try to keep my brush strokes pretty, fairly straight. So that's kind of that. And then I got this area up here. It's kind of a pain. I'll probably end up laying these down or something, but I'm kind of getting up in here and I'm even getting the back of this. Uh, the back of this board and the middle of the shelf and then I work it around and get the bottom here and this is where you can see the the wood is just it's very dry so it's pulling the paint out so then um, I just work it all around put put the paint on and then what I do too is I try to pick out if you, you see little, it's been staying fairly clean now, but pick out um, little stuff. But, so that's just like one section and you just keep, you just keep going. 
Um, and then always checking to make sure you don't have uh, heavy rolls around the edges. And everything. So it's just some painting stuff. But when it's all painted up, it's just looking real nice. It's looking really cool as um, painted uh, painted furniture could be really fun. So here I got the bottom part, but I also want to get some on the top so that I'm not I'm not going back twice on everything. So I hit the similar to like a drywall corner. You can hit put the material there and then work it. The top's not real critical, but um, work it in here, these little areas, see, see how dry it is. So that's just a quick little insight into painting. Um, you know, I like to put put plenty of material on and work it around because otherwise uh, you kind of, if you do enough painting, you know, you uh, it's a lot of wear and tear on your on your wrists, or on your wrists. So it's almost like keeping that lubricated with plenty of paint. So I use the roller and smash it into the wood grain. Get down in there. And then, uh, and then come back and you know, work it. See how nice this pine, this pine's painting up. And there'll be dry spots. So, so that's just a quick painting, painting tip. And uh, you can do that. You can work sections at a time. In this case, like I said, you're going kind of, you're kind of working three different areas, but same principles. And you don't want you don't want to be too heavy on the paint either. So you want to you know, move it around, and then like something like this you put it on but a lot of times you get like a rolled edge so you got to come you really got to come back and check all sides so you're not getting uh wrong. but i actually started when i started in construction many years ago the first thing i did was paint i painted some doors besides sweeping floors i was uh I learned to paint by painting you know, doors, like six panel doors. So you had to uh, kind of do this. Um, similar thing. Now I don't want to get carried away now. See, this is drying a little bit, so I want to be careful and not, I'm already overworking that. See, and I, I pulled just nice finished, finished brush strokes. Brush strokes.
chains I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say Okay, it's install day. I've got my, uh, got about twice as many tools as I need. Quick install kit, shims, level, drills, hand tools. So I'm gonna load them up, take them to the job, and install them. got back from uh, installing the bookshelves and it worked out great because uh, we didn't have to cut out the baseboard because we looked at it, it didn't really need to go all the way to the wall and there was an outlet there. So we have we just came a couple inches off each wall, still had a little bit of room to the window and we uh, put a shim block uh, to the wall and put a single screw into the stud. So just one screw on the top, just enough so it will not tip over. It's into the stud, should be good. I mean, you could put two, but... So they're in there. I probably uploaded the footage of that, and uh, it's cool. I don't know what to do with myself now. I spent a couple weeks. I think it ended up being a couple weeks, but I didn't work all the time on it. But anyway, I'm just kind of relieved, obviously. Glad that that's one, that's just another job done. And uh, she really, the lady really loved them. She liked them. They worked. She was happy with them. So it's good. I got an open, pretty clean workshop. I'll probably work on this video and then uh, think about what the next thing I need to do is um, do some Christmas gifts, last minute Christmas gifts. Uh, I try to do a woodworking thing every year. So. Uh, let's see how that goes. I want to use the lathe. It's got the lathe put together. Well, but I, can, I don't. I mean, I'm. I've only done it two times, right? I'm a complete, pretty much a beginner on that. So, anyway, big, wide open, wide open shop. So, ready to go for the next project. Just let me know if you got any ideas for uh, what to build and or art. Sculpture, woodwork, design. I'm going to talk about all that. So thank you for watching this series and I'll catch you next time.